Today, we will be introducing the screener widget that is now available on Voland. The screener was developed by popular demand to be able to identify stocks that could provide an opportunity due to large changes in dealer positioning. To see the screener widget, add a new widget, scroll to the statistics section, and select screener. When adding the screener, there are three different types of screen currently available. Differences are raw dollar differences. Relative change is normalized percent change. And magnitude is total value that day. Under operations, it is looking for the highest absolute change, in other words, the highest positive value, or the least absolute change, which will be ordered with the highest negative value. The next input is the variable you want to screen for. Currently, we offer delta, gamma, vanna, vega, theta, and price. The next input is how far back you want the origin data. Currently, we have a day, a week, a month, three months, which is a quarter, or one year. Especially for the difference in relative change types, it is important to know how far back you are looking for these changes from. Finally, the number of results is how many results you wish to see listed in your widget. The primary function of the screener is to give ideas of what stocks to investigate from a volunt standpoint. For example, we know from the Vanna video that large moves in aggregate Vanna can be a leading indicator of the underlying stock movements. Since percentages are more of an indicator in this arena, Let's see what the screener produces for the largest relative changes in three month aggregate VANA. So we look at relative change, most absolute change, aggregate VANA for the past three months. And we'll show the for top 25. Here we see Marathon Oil, which has a very large percentage increase. However, in the past three months, Marathon Oil was acquired by ConocoPhillips. So that is probably why we have a large VANA increase. There is no longer data there. Uh, soon it will be removed. We see a very large increase in DocuSign. So let's investigate DocuSign, XBI, and BILI. Go over here to VANA, change the ticker. First, let's look at DocuSign, which has had a 100% increase in VANA. Ah. DocuSign is consistently in negative VANA regime, but it just cut that negative VANA regime over the past three months. So it still might be bearish, even though it had a 120 something percent increase in VANA. Looks like a lot of that increase happened there in the 120. And you can see DocuSign in the surface volatility, those big negative VANA modes are here in the out months. So it may not even be a sell today. I would say there is not much of a not much of a move here. Um, I would be concerned about the aggregate negative Vanna, but I would keep an eye if this turns into a positive aggregate Vanna, which probably would happen if DocuSign crosses 90, maybe 91 or so. You might get a little bit more positive aggregate Vanna, and when that happens, it might be a good time to go long and see if we could pass 95. If these two can get passed, looks like DocuSign can make a run. So let's take a look at XBI. Ah, I see three months ago, XBI had negative VANA. Then it got very positive and now it is dropping in VANA once again. This demonstrates the importance of the origin. So three months ago, this is a great increase in VANA. However, if we do it about one month ago, we would see that it would be a reduction in VANA and we would not be so bullish on the name. So looking through, we see some positive VANA nodes here. And it seems like I would not want to go long on XBI until 95 is passed. Now let's take a look at BILI. We see that this had a lot of negative Vanna. And three months ago, we we're looking at less negative Vanna. So this has increased in Vanna. It is almost Vanna neutral. You can see that right here. Now both of these nodes are almost Vanna neutral. Not much support below, but there is a big Vanna node down here. This is also one to watch that if we were to get over 20 or 20.5 you'd probably see a very bullish move. 
probably up to 25, maybe even 30 almost. So this would be one to keep on your watch list. Set an alert for when it passes 20, maybe 20.5. Notice how I use my Vanna workspace in conjunction with my screener widget to see which of these stocks can actually produce something actionable. I would look at both the most and the least absolute change to take away market risk so that you can have some long stocks and some short stocks. You could form your portfolio with the standing orders of profit targets and stops on these stocks. Thank you for watching this video and may Volen help you in your future trading ventures.